The recovery efforts are just beginning in Florida after Hurricane Ian, and it's not just humans that are in need of relief, but dogs, cats, and just about everything in between. That's right. NBC Local 33's Rachel Riley tells us how a local rescue team is gearing up to bring supplies to that area. Disaster hits and you're trapped in your home, and the rescue team finally comes, but you're not allowed to bring pets like snow. Well, the Rescue Alliance Animal Response Team is on their way to Florida for instances just like these to help aid in rescue and recovery. We want to make sure that these pets are not forgotten about. Some of our neighbors to the east are in a bind, choosing between their pets and their own safety after Hurricane Ian devastated the area. If they evacuate, a lot of times they can't take their pet with them. We would actually go in and help get them plus their pets out, brought to a staging area where they get dry blankets to sleep on, and we get them good and fed. The Rescue Alliance Animal Disaster Response Team and others are packing up, heading to Florida so that no pet is left behind. They're hungry. You know, a lot of them never have experienced floodwaters or being trapped on top of a roof. They're bringing things like pet food, toys and kennels, setting up camp near Fort Myers. Once we get our base camp set up, then we actually go and we start checking our set crowdsourcing to see what's been on the board longest and we go ahead and we verify it and we go ahead and get to that animal or family in need. They are asking for your help and donations. If you would like to donate, you can go to brproud.com for that information. From Gonzales, Rachel Riley, NBC Local 33 News. Well, if you do decide to donate to the animals in South Florida, the Rescue Alliance is accepting donations until October 14th. And